Hi, this is Gary with Mac Modes. Now, on today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make text easier to read. For a lot of people, reading small text on a computer screen can be a problem. But there are a lot of ways on a Mac to make text larger. Let me show you a few. So say you're at a web page like this one and you want to make the text a little larger and easier to read. Well, you can use the View menu and you can see there's Zoom In and Zoom Out. And if I use them, I'm going to zoom in. You can see it makes the text larger. It also makes the images larger even. Earlier browsers didn't do this. They just made the text larger. But Safari is smart enough to kind of enlarge the entire page to keep it all looking basically the same. Now I can scroll around in here and still read everything that's there but the text a little bit easier to read. Now if you want you can set the zooming to zoom text only and that will work more like browser zooming used to. Now reading messages in email works much the same way except instead of under the view menu under format you have style and then bigger and smaller but you can see it's the same shortcuts. So this message here I can enlarge by pressing command and then plus a few times and bring it back with command and minus. Same is true when you're composing a message. You can type something here and you have to select the text to make it larger. And This will actually make the text larger in the email that you send so the person on the other end will have an easier time reading it as well. Now in Mail there are also some defaults that you can set. So you can go to Mail Preferences, the Fonts and Colors pane and here you can change the default message font. Now here we are in Pages. Now you can select text and change its size. You can just go simply to Format and you can see under Font make it bigger and smaller with those same shortcuts. But that actually changes the font size in the document. What if you want to leave it like this? This is how you want to print it. You just want to be able to view it a little more easily. So you can go to View and Zoom which you can see are different shortcuts. Command and then Shift Period for Greater Than and Shift Comma for Less Than. So I can do that here and you can see the page just gets a little larger. As a matter of fact, if you look down here, you can see that the percentage changes. This is the zooming percentage. So I can zoom in or out as I want. And I can even set it to, uh, you can't see there, but there's a fit width and fit page option. So in preview, if you're viewing, say, a PDF, you can also zoom in. Uh, there's plus or minus buttons that should be at the top of the screen. Or you can use view, zoom in, zoom out. And you can see the shortcuts are the same there as well. So I can zoom in to be able to read text a little better right there. You can also uh, zoom to fit or go to actual size. If I zoom in a little bit I can jump back to actual size with Command-0. Also a very common keyboard shortcut that a lot of applications use for the same thing. So I hope I've demonstrated that a lot of applications, most in fact, have the ability to zoom in be able to read text a little more easily. So if you have a favorite application that I haven't shown you here, look in the menus, in the View menu or Format menu or something else for the ability to do this. So I want to show you one more method for doing this. It's kind of universal. If you go to System Preferences you go to Universal Access. This is one of the coolest parts of Mac OS X. You've got the Zoom feature. Yeah, you can turn it on or off so you want it on. and You want to be able to zoom in or out and you can switch this on or off with Option Command 8. Um, so for instance if I do Option Command 8 now you can see it switch on and off. So you want to have it on and then Option Command and basically the plus or minus keys. And we can try it right here and you're not going to be able to see it I believe. Well you can there in the screen capture. You can see I'm zooming in and what it does is it enlarges everything. So it makes the pixels actually larger. It makes it easier to read. It's very easy to zoom in and out any application, multiple windows, everything and be able to see what's there. So get used to using those keys. Now also in Snow Leopard you can use control and a lot of different ways. Scroll wheel if you have one on your mouse, two fingers on a trackpad or on a magic mouse and zoom in and out fluidly like that. Uh, things are going to change a little bit with Lion I think on this. So if you're using Line in the future, uh, check the system preferences and see what options there are. But a command and option and plus and minus should remain options for doing this. Now let me show you one way I don't think you should be using for this. Some people do it. You go to the displays and go in system preferences or up here and you can change the display resolution. So right now for this monitor it's set to 1280 by 1024. If I set it to 800 by 600, everything will look larger. I'll have less things on the screen but it will look larger and some people do this. I don't recommend doing that. I recommend running your monitor at the native resolution. In this case 1280 by 1024 for this monitor and then using one of these techniques to zoom in. 
So there's a lot of good ways to make things larger on your screen if you have trouble reading. And you know what? Some web pages put text so small that everybody just about has trouble reading them. So knowing these techniques really can help. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.